In any area where there are people, one of the most important tasks is to keep those people separated from hazards. Whether these hazards are height, perimeter edges, machinery or water, safety railing, handrails and guardrails all play their part to ensure there's a secure barrier between the public, contractors or employees and any hazard. It is vital that these rails continue to offer high levels of safety for years after installation. High quality components and ease of maintenance ensure any rail installation can be kept in prime condition, looking good and keeping people safe. But there is a problem. Many of these rails are exposed to highly corrosive conditions day after day which can eat away at the very materials they are made of. And once the materials start to fail, the railing becomes a potential hazard itself, no longer giving the safety protection it was designed to give. There are two principal methods used for installing guard railing, fittings and fabrication. Fabrication takes a lot of preparation, as sections have to be fabricated off-site before installation, and detailed plans of individual sections require drafting. Prefabricated sections are delivered to the site, where a skilled installer needs to assemble all the sections according to the plans. There are many health and safety implications associated with on-site welding. Cutting holes breaches the metal's anti-corrosion coatings, which are then further compromised by welding. Corrosion properties can be restored by painting the fabricated rails, but this has to be meticulously maintained to ensure lasting protection. As many components of guard railing are hollow, internal corrosion where coatings have been breached is also a major problem, and often not evident until it's too late. Any repair to fabricated rail installations involves cutting out damaged sections and welding in new. New sections need to be prefabricated off-site and transported to the location. So, what are the alternatives to fabricating barriers? Key Safety is the world leader in providing simple, durable guardrail solutions. The well-proven hot-dip galvanized key clamp and aluminium key light systems use slip-on components to join lengths of galvanized steel or aluminium tube to provide effective, hard-wearing, easy-to-install hazard protection. Because installing rails using fittings is much more flexible, only a general arrangement drawing is needed to plan where the uprights will be placed. There is no need for highly skilled labour or special work permits, as assembly is all carried out by tightening hexagon socket set screws, securely locking the fitting to the tube. And because there is no cutting or welding of components needed, the integrity of all coatings is left intact. Key clamp components are hot dip galvanized iron castings, available in a range of sizes and configurations to suit any location, all available directly from stock. Hi, I'm Bob Chaco here with the Niagara Falls State Parks. Um, we are 200 feet above the river at the observation deck of the May the Mist. We use the key clamps in a guardrail system known as the crow's nest. We use it to keep the public safe from wandering off too close to the falls and getting cut on sharp rocks. In the fall, when we have to take it down, it's because the mist from the falls accumulates approximately 30 feet of ice. And it takes approximately four hours. It's very easy. Just back off the set screw on the key clamp. And in the springtime, we have to put it all back up the same, same way, four hours. After 17 years of abuse, one of our key clamps finally failed. We had one of our maintenance guys run up to the Buffalo office, pick the key clamp part up, came back with an hour, and we were back up in business for public safety. There is a key clamp system down below that's been over there for 50 years. 
and it's been stand up the test of times of 20 feet of ice or more. It's been there longer than I've been alive. Hand railing built using key clamp fittings is substantially more resistant to corrosion, with a typical key clamp structure lasting up to seven times longer than a fabricated one. Given a sufficient time, oxygen and water, an iron mass will eventually rust and disintegrate completely. Um, the Zinc Millennium Map, published by the UK Galvanizers Association, details the atmospheric corrosion rate across the UK and Ireland. In a moderate marine atmosphere classified as a Category 3 environment, this map forecasts the average life for a galvanised component to be 57 years based on a corrosion rate of 1.5 microns per annum. This compares very favourably to the corrosion rate for untreated steel, which is between 60 and 170 microns per annum. Key safety cast iron fittings are hot dip galvanised and feature corrosion protected uh, grub screws and recesses to ensure that they remain comprehensively corrosion resistant. This means that the average life of a structure using a corrosion resistant hot dip galvanised key clamp fittings will be 37 years in a category 3 town such as Newcastle upon Tyne. This compares very favourably to the 4.7 year lifespan of a fabricated untreated steel structure. Key clamp fittings uh, does away with the need of any bending or welding of tube on site. It simply just needs to be cut to size. Um, this dramatically reduces labour costs, uh, resulting in added long-term value to the client. Fittings have repeatedly proven their longevity and resistance to the elements at locations all over the world. The ease of designing an installation. No special skills or permissions on the work site. Quick, versatile installation. Galvanised components with intact coatings. The option of aluminium key light fittings. Seven times longer lasting. Easy maintenance and repair. All mean that a guard railing installation using key safety fittings simplifies all installation stages, gives the highest levels of safety and simply represents the best value for money.